feel like a little baby going to a man's world. Um, you know, I've, I was very blessed to have the father that I have. Um, he instilled in me, you know, to love the game of baseball, and you know, I always, always appreciated what he did with me in baseball. But uh, as far as going out and performing, you know, skill level wise, baseball, uh, you know, I felt like I fit right in. Um, you know, I, I, I love the game. And in Arizona, when I went up there, you know, the guys are obviously competing against 24, 25 year old guys, and it really going across the country, being a homeboy in Kentucky, I never really left the state. Going to Arizona was like a big shock to me. But uh, it, it, it actually helped me mature quickly. I actually don't remember it. Uh, I just, I just remember, I, I, every, before every game I get nervous, it doesn't matter if I'm pitching, you know, in an inner squad against your teammates or, or whatever, you still get those kind of bubbles. And, you know, they always say when you lose those kind of uh, butterflies in your stomach, you know, you should probably stop playing. We don't get that excited. You know. Till this day, this will be my 10th year professional, professional baseball. It makes me feel old because, uh, you know, I just, I'm not, I, I was once a prospect. Now they consider me, I guess, a veteran guy, a veteran <laughs> son, which is kind of scary, but, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really, that's it. Well, I mean, I was in high A. That'd be a huge step yeah. going from high A to the big leagues, yeah. which I ended up doing when I got Rule 5. I went from high A to the big leagues. It was a, a huge step for me. But um, I really just think they were trying to push me to see what, what they got when they traded for me. Uh, they just didn't trade for me. They had three or four other players involved in that trade. But, you know, they just wanted to see what they had. And, uh, you know, they, they kept tabs on me and what I was doing. And I think that's with any kind of any kind of young player you trade for. They kind of watch what they got and, and are excited about seeing it. You know, were you on any kind of pitch count or anything? Or uh, everybody, every star is really on a pitch count. They kind of monitor that and anything. Uh, you know, early in the season when it's cold, guys, you know, they only going to throw maybe 75, 80 pitches max. Uh, and then throughout the season, you know, 100 pitch count is usually a, a limit. If you're having a good game, they might let you go over that. Yeah. Big league phase of the Rule 5 draft is uh, if they've taken the Rule 5, you have to make the big league team out of spring training and stay there all year. Uh, which, when I found out I was Rule 5, I was in Pirate City doing the winter camp in Pirate City. So it's kind of like excitement and uh, you know, it's kind of upset because I met so many people in the Pittsburgh organization that I really, I really cared about and still stay in contact with. But, uh, you know, I was excited. You know, I felt like this is my chance to to break in the big leagues. You know, it doesn't ha it doesn't come around a lot or a, a high A kid breaks with the big league team out of, out of spring out of spring training and, uh, and I'm very grateful for the Royals taking me in that and uh, I learned a lot in the big leagues that first year. How to, you know just basically getting in, into a routine when in the past I just you know pitched. I just had fun and pitched. And at the big league level, guys have routines or certain things they do before they go out and uh, I learned I learned a lot that year. Coach Newton and his wife were there. The players dug out. Uh, my wife, my my whole family. Uh, it was a it was a sweet moment. It almost kind of after I finished that inning, I kind of just sat down and just you know thank the Lord for all I've, I accomplished and thank you for getting me there and staying healthy. And uh, man, it was it was a very very fun experience. It's a real <laughs> yeah, because I, I, you know, I was in Texas last year and I had a good year in Texas. And I had surgery March 17th of last year of thoracic outlet syndrome. Um, and Texas got me healthy, I was very appreciative of it. So when it came down to this year, between Texas and Cincinnati, uh, you know, I was leaning towards going to Texas, but then you know, Cincinnati kind of gave me the same offer, the same opportunity to make the big league team out of spring training, uh, to compete for a spot. Of course, nothing's given to you in this game, and uh. You know, just being closer to home with having a newborn baby and, you know, my family being able to be around me, whether it's in Cincinnati or Louisville, you know, I get to live in my own house here. I mean, you just couldn't ask, ask for a bigger blessing and, and get to sign with them. And also growing up being a Cincinnati Red fan, my dad was a huge, uh, a huge fan of the Reds growing up. I don't really, I don't really think it gets in their head. I think it actually prepares them more. Yeah. 
uh, the, the scouting reports these days for us as pitchers on hitters and hitters on pitchers are so in depth and so good nowadays. Uh, they really they know what you have. They have video of you. They know what you're you know capable of. They know your tendencies. Um, everything's really broken down to to a team. TV will tell you tell you that you go over scouting reports uh, first game of every series, so you know what, kind of what you're getting into. Uh, but as far as my pitch arsenal, just you know, sinker, four seam, uh, slider, change up, and uh, I'm really going to focus on throwing my change up a lot more this year. That's what I'm going to try to try to accomplish and throwing inside. Family first, you know, it's just how I was raised. Everything I, from the time I was young until now, my parents are still to me, you know, God, family, friends, and then, and then baseball. But, uh, you know, what I would do is if I would play as much as I can and I have somebody have a phone on the sideline and say, hey, your wife's on delivery, and then I'd haul, haul tail and, you know, try to try to make it if I could. Yeah. You know, it's such a big game, you know, it's a once in a lifetime kind of thing. Well, this will be his second time, you know, back to back yeah. years. But, uh, you know, family always comes first. <laughs> Seahawks. Seahawks. I'm going to go to Seattle. Nothing against the Patriots. Just, uh, I like to see the Seahawks go back to back. And I you know Russell Wilson came to spring training with us in Texas last year. Okay. Because he got Rule 5 by Texas in the double. Oh, yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. And I got to meet Russell and eat breakfast with him. Just a class act guy. He's just an awesome dude. So I'd love to see him go back to back. He's a very good. Good.